everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. We're back again here in Mythgard. I love this place so much. Right after building this awesome, brand new, and amazing villager breeder. It's one of my favorite builds in this whole entire spot, but we're going to be expanding today and building some brand new things. But before we do any of that, hi. I gotta fix something down below. It's a little broken. I'll show you why. But you know what's not broken? The breeder itself. Look at this. <laughs> it's working awesome. And thank you all so much for all the suggestions of how to turn this thing off. The easiest, simplest thing that we could possibly do is take away the beds that were right here. And I have it on this side in a chest. So all we gotta do is grab it and put it back right here so it can restart. Uh, they still love each other. They're doing great. They're not passing through though, which is also a plus. Because down here, we have an army of myth guardians uh which uh, i'm gonna have to unleash uh because uh, there's a problem but down below i made a mistake uh i started uh, kind of like prettifying this thing and when i did prettify it uh this rail right here uh went down mm -hmm. this rail technically needs to go up so the minecart gets shot out and then it goes up grabs them and then comes back down and into this uh, chamber that we're going to do a little zombification area. And now I messed up because uh, I prettified it. I changed the grounds. Uh, it doesn't do it. So the only way to fix that is to break this. Yep, have them explode out. So let's see if I can minimize the damage we're going to do over here. Break this off. Let's grab the water. Okay, cool. If I were to go over here and maybe put the water kind of like... Or even up here. We might drown them though. Oh no, we're going to drown them. No! No! Oh no! Oh no, we're gonna drown him! Oh no! Um, sorry, excuse me! Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Um, sorry, sorry! Okay, 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 okay. They're not gonna drown. Crisis averted. Oh no. Okay, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm not gonna massacre them. I'm not gonna do anything illegal. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna free them. I'm gonna free them. I will start it again, and I'll let them roam around here, around the world, and have fun. Oh god, it's dark. Uh, and uh, we'll start it over. I'll fix everything and we'll start this over. Okay, is that a good plan? That sounds like a good plan. Let's sleep though, so they don't die outside. Now this is a learning experience for all of you. If you're gonna do anything like this, make sure you prettify first, then set up rails, okay? You're welcome. I mess up so you don't have to. All right, just, just get out. Just go, just go, just, just get out, just go, just go. Yeah, you're free, outside, see you later, have a good time in Mythgard. Uh, enjoy your stay, enjoy your time, uh, you, you can go. You can go. Yep. See ya. Goodbye. There's a bunch of barrels out there. Enjoy being a fisherman. Oh, you can go. It's fine. It's good times. Okay, you know what? Get out. Get out now. Everybody, be gone. Oh, no. My rail's over there. It's fine. See you soon. Please go. Get out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. Enjoy Mythgard. Enjoy. Walk around. Uh, I have more houses later. Don't worry about it. Oh, look. Friends. Wow. Now we're doing great here the population is thriving all right your meeting is over get out i will punch a villager i will punch one of you thank you thank you goodbye goodbye thank you thank you so much have a great day sheesh now to rebuild this thing and that's it that's all i had to do that is all i had to do hey bubbles you don't want to know what happened downstairs but we have a lot more villagers okay uh don't eat them and glass um otherwise it's a lovely day here enjoy Welcome to Mythgard. Welcome to Mythgard. <laughs> These fishermen. I'm sorry, I have a barrel problem. It's okay. Hi. Go get a job. Preferably not a fisherman, please. Thank you. All right. So then one, two, and three. And f uh, patch that up. I think we're good to go. I think this is all we needed. So now, if we get one of these lovely minecarts, they'll shoot up. Grab a villager, and then come right back down into this spot. We will test this out and see. But first, I need to turn on uh, this thing again. And then we grab our beds, and let's go. One, two, three, and a four. Perfect. All right. Open that up, and yeah. Oh, I need water. Right there. Perfect. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Now, make the babies. Now, I've been working a little bit over here, adding some more steps to get up. So we have this small little step right here to get up to this next level, which has this little thing that we're going to definitely knock down in a second. But then this also goes up this direction, curves around, going up this way, and we have a lovely a little area right here where I'm going to be placing our nether portal. But before we do that, why not get into the Christmas spirit, right? And build ourselves a little Christmas tree. I'm going to do it right over here as well. But before we do that, let's get rid of this water.
And I should have enough materials to do this. I got a bunch of leaves and I got a bunch of spruce. So let's go right about here. I think this is a nice spot. Let's build ourselves a nice little Christmas tree. I'm adding some last minute finishing touches here with some present boxes at the bottom. And I think this looks really, really cool. Check that out. Oh man, this is awesome. I think later on when we get a little bit more of a honey production, we can make some candles and add that up there as well. Light those up and we can add more decorations as we go along. Parkour, I uh, missed. That's fine. Oh, that looks really cool from over here. Oh, that's awesome. Later on though, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that uh, copper block. This super aged already and to replace that with some glowstone from the nether but right now it kind of looks like a guardian uh, but it's fine we'll make it look a little cooler a little bit more festive as well now as for me for christmas all i want is for you guys to enjoy these videos and you know what else to reach maybe 1 million subs one of these days we're so close less than 50k to go oh man i don't think we're gonna get it this year but maybe early next year that'll be a good uh late uh christmas present how about that? <laughs> but thank you all so much for all the love and support, though. You guys are amazing. Now, while we're down here, let's see if this has been working. No, not yet. Oops. Um, Make babies. Oh, this is my bed. That'll do. Please work again. Oh, here it comes. Yes. Here, 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 here. Have all these. Please make other baby. Have the babies right now. Thank you so much. Oh, let's open this up. Is it going to happen right in front of our eyes? Yes. Plenty of beds. Plenty of space for baby making. Okay. It's coming. Pop that baby out. This instant. Sorry. I'm watching. I'll stand over here. Do you need more carrots for more baby? Here you go. Maybe we need that glass here. Oh no. Okay, you know what? Um, let me replace this with glass again. See if that's a thing. Parkour. Parkour. Um, parkour. Parkour. Parkour 360. Alright, I need you guys to get busy, okay? Do your work. I'll be leaving. Do your work. Make the babies. Now, while the potential babies are being made upstairs, I got to work with the zombification center over here on this corner. So I extended it just a little bit, pushed it back, and I added some power rails and a little chamber in the back for the zombie to hang out. Cover that up with glass, put some buttons down there to make sure we activate the rails, and I think this actually might work. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're going to test this out together, though, but I needed a zombie. So I decided, you know what? What better zombie than the nitwits? Let's give them a purpose in life. They don't do nothing anyways, but uh, I miscalculated the time of day. It started burning, but it's okay. I came to save the day and put them right underneath this overpass, waiting for nighttime to strike. And then, you know what? It looked nighttime to me, but apparently it wasn't dark enough. They died. F in the chat right now, please. So we set out to look for another zombie, and I'm looking at that leather boy right there, looking so nice, protected against all the elements, but they brought friends, so I gotta take out their friends. Bubbles was looking at it. I was like, Bubbles, don't worry, I got this. You don't have to get your paws dirty, girl. I know you had a long day, you ate a lot of food today, you're kinda tired, you wanna go home and go to sleep. So I took care of these zombies, and you know what? It felt like Call of Duty zombies. I was going around in a circle, that's the strat, that's what you do, and then I got this zombie ready to go. We went underneath, and I lured them perfectly into the trap they're so dumb they had no idea what was happening but you know what one two three super easy they got stuck in there and now we're ready for zombifying now hopefully this works all i need right now is to get a little bit of book action make ourselves some bookshelves some slab action and we got ourselves a lectern i need to make more books but for right now this is a good start so i got the rails in place right here so once we get that all set up i'm gonna do a little bit of a track to go upstairs it's gonna be temporary uh but we're gonna always have these rails here whatever we need to do a little bit of transporting oh look it's been working we got babies we got grown-up adults in here and we got the zombie in place on this side so how this is supposedly supposed to work, and please do work, uh, we'll push this button, and it's supposed to shoot up, what did I do? Um, that didn't work. Hope you're enjoying the ride, kid. Now, I think everything is fixed. This little kid right here is a structural engineer. I had no idea. They were so good at their job. So I'm thinking right now, please work. Yes, it's about time. We did great things. Thank you so much, kid. You're promoted. Now. We got the villager here in place, right? All we need to do is we place this thing down right here. They should take the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we look and see if we get something good. That is absolutely not what we want. So we got to re-roll until we get what we want, which is preferably mending, unbreaking, so touch, fortune, all the good stuff, really, for now. Whoa, that didn't take too long. Even after this kid just tried to free this man, we got mending. And it's okay that it's at 24 because what I'm going to do right now is we're going to push this button. 
He's gonna go, not that way, the other way, the, no, sorry. There it is, okay, perfect. So then, they go down this hole, like that. They're gonna get beat up real, real bad. They turn into this sweet boy. And then we gotta convert them. Once we convert them, we go right over here. It goes right to this section, and then we splash them, give them the apple, and they turn into the best boy with the cheapest trades. And now, we need to go into the nether, because we need to find a fortress, we need blaze powder, we need to make a brewing stand to get this done. So let's gather some materials and make another portal. Excuse me, this is my house, what are you doing here? Get out of here, fisher boy. Now for this nether portal design, I'm gonna need a lot of deep slate. I'm gonna need some dark oak. I'm gonna need a little barrel action. Some spruce trap doors. And we're also gonna need a bunch of copper. There should be smelting right here. Oh, that's no, iron. Copper! There we go. Oh, and here's more as well. Let's smelt those. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of copper. Let's make these into blocks. And let's use our beautiful stone cutter for this. Bam. I'm only gonna need about eight of those. But we are gonna be needing a lot of these rods right here. That should be good. And now I need a bunch of obsidian. Ah, here we are. Let's get the rest from here. A stack of obsidian, <laughs> that's perfect. I don't need that much, but just in case, you never know. Now I think we're good to go. Let's start building this nether portal right up there. The nether portal is complete. Oh man, what do you guys think? Definitely inspired by my friend Gold Robin, who always makes these awesome nether portal swords and is so inspired by them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description. If you guys wanna try to build something like this for your own or get inspired and try it in different styles and different color palettes, and I think this came out really, really cool. All we need to do right now is light the portal <laughs> as the night is setting. But you know what? We're not ready yet. Let's grab some materials, let's grab some supplies because it's gonna be dangerous in here. And I I don't want to die tonight. Oh, cool. Make ourselves another shovel because mine is gone and this is our last diamond. We got to go diamond mining soon. I'm also going to need to make another shield. I didn't even notice this, but I've been walking around without one. Probably been screaming at me in the comments. Thanks for your screams. I heard you. I got a good amount of cobblestones to do some pillaring and blocking off from bad guys. I got some wood in case we need to craft anything. Some extra torches. I'm also going to need some gold. Now, usually I put this on the helmet, but this has fire protection on it. And we're going to need some kind of fire. I'm thinking the pants. Because I'm definitely going to need those feather fallings here on my air sausages. Ooh, look at that fashion. Did that just move? Did this just, did this just move? Did you do it? Hey, what's happening here? I could have sworn those just moved. Eh, no matter. Now let's head up into the enchanting station really quickly. We have 43 levels after all, and we can go ahead and do a little bit of enchanting on the shovel. Eh, fucking shovel, I don't want flint for days. Come on now, or oh, whatever. I can use this for clay balls in the lush cave, so I'm not upset. But let me put something on these pants. You know what? They might break really, really quickly, but at least we're protected. Plus we got tons of levels, it's worth it. Oh wait, I do have more diamonds here, I have 12 diamonds. You know what, just for fun and because we're right here, and because I lost my diamond hoe, I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> Don't ask where my hoe is, I have no idea. Oh, yes! Oh, we can use this in the nether as well. You know what, I got 34 levels. Let's go with another pickaxe, this is gonna be fun. And boop, 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 silk touch, please. I hate you. Suck touch, please. Ah, whatever. I can just do this, I guess. That's fine. You know what? Leave this pickaxe in the comment section. Thank you. But I think it's time. I think we're prepared. Let's go into the nether and see if we can find that fortress. Wish me luck. Good spawn, good spawn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not another waste. How boring is this? Oh, no. Hi. I'm good, right? We're good? We're friends? Okay, cool. I'm glad I brought my gold. I don't have any other gold, though, to give you, so if I see any extra ones, I'll make sure to give you guys. We'll do a little bartering farm or something. A very humane one. Don't you worry, anime girl. I can never unsee this. Oh, this is a horrible spawn, by the way. Let's take a look. Let's see if we see anything close by. Maybe down that path might be a good way to go. Maybe around that way. It looks like a little steep drop, though. We've got to be very careful. One wrong move, and we end up down into the lava. And we're definitely not going to survive that. Soul Sand Valley? 
Oh, Soul Sand Valley. I love Soul Sand Valleys just for the bones. Oh, <laughs> so good. We're never gonna need a skeleton farm or anything like that when we have one of these close by. Look at all these bones. Hi. Also, we are going to be needing a lot of soul sand as well. Please don't hurt me. I have no gold. Definitely gonna take some of these. Maybe a stack each. There you go, a stack each, that's perfect. We're gonna use that later. Oh, magma, actually, I need to murder you because once I get our brewing stand, I need uh, your cream in order to make fire resistance. So come on up. Oh, experts, only got one cream from all that. That big boy, and all I got was one cream. Okay, we gotta make sure we mark out where we're going. So this is our portal. I'm gonna go around this direction, and we're just gonna make a little mark and make sure we know how to get back home. Oh, and Skelly's over there. Okay, oh, Skelly over here too. I just want bones. Oh, no, you don't. Don't do it. No match for me. I want more bone. Is there any lore on these fossils over here? Like, what were these before? when they were alive, walking around in the nether. Let me know in the comments. Give me some lore on these fossils. I'm going for you, skeleton. Do you want to battle me? You don't even know what you're doing. Get destroyed. Oh, it's so spooky over here. Oh, look, FaZe Clan. So lucky no gas are showing up. Gas usually love to live in this area. Ooh, more quartz. Don't mind if I do. And more quartz. Oh, yes, a warp forest. Oh, look, striders, it's so cute. It's so ugly, but so cute. <laughs> we could grab some of this gold to do some piglin trading right now. As long as they don't see us grabbing it, I think we're safe. I do have a crafting bench also, so we could convert those into ingots. So if they're not around, let's grab some. <gasps> I got help. No, don't grab any. Don't grab, I don't want that gold. You can keep that gold game. Oh, I don't want it, sorry. I wish this was our spawn. Why couldn't this be our spawn? Stuck in that nether waste ugly old thing. Oh, I want some of this. Give me shroom light. I need you for hidden lighting. So far, this nether adventure has been fantastic. Oh, look at all the shroom. Now, the only thing we need to be careful of in this biome is Enderman. What are you following me for? What you want? Here, take some of those. Oh, nuggets not good for you. Oh, nuggets not good. They're beneath you. You don't like nuggets. What's wrong with you? Everyone likes nuggets. I think that's pretty good. Half a stack should do us plenty to start out with. Now, that's where we came from. I kind of like this over here. It looks like a little natural path. <laughs> it's kind of guiding me up this thing. I would love some soul speed right now. Stop it. Ooh, more bone blocks. Come, 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 come. I'll take you. Oh, look how pretty the soul fire is, too. <gasps> Remind me when I get back home to make some soul fire lanterns. Oh, baby, that'll be so cool. Oh, look at that. Now we got a crimson forest. Oh, man, we got almost all the biomes here. We're just missing that nasty old scary basalt delta. I don't really want to see the basalt delta, to be honest. Oh, baby. D yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, perfect. And whoa. Oh, God, no, not a gas. Not, no, stop, stop. I don't have a bow. Oh, man, look at this right next to one of the worst biomes in the history of the nether as well. Oh, that's a big fall drop. Oh, look at that thing over there. Hi, um, gas, please leave me alone. How am I going to even get over there? Do you know how to get over there, sir? Oh, maybe over here? Oh, my God, this is like the worst. Oh, no, this is scary. Um, okay, I don't want, oh, I don't want, okay, no, um, oh, this is scary. Okay, this is a clenching moment. Uh, everything's fine. I will not lose to this game tonight. Okay, perfect. Now we just gotta go right here. Oh, oh no. This is very, very dangerous. Let's do a little bit of a, of a walkway over here and get like a little bit of a railing too, just in case. If you guys are playing in the same seed, this is the coordinates you're gonna be needing to get to the fortress. Now there's no time to get scared. No, where did, oh, there you are. Okay, that's what we needed. We need blaze. So this is the way out. We gotta find a way to get to the other side and we gotta be careful with withers as well. There's a wither skeleton right there. We just have to make sure we have these lined up so they don't destroy us. Hey, you wanna come over here? Can I get that skull? Oh, oh no, no. No, can you cross over? You can't cross over? Okay, here, let me help you. <laughs> Come on down, let me get that skull. Oh my God, imagine if I get a skull on the first try. Okay, that would have been way too OP. So let's make sure we protect ourselves. Let's cross right all these spots here. As long as we have this on level three, they're not gonna cross over and hurt us. So we'll be fine. Oh, please give me a skull. Oh no, not yet, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, let me protect myself really quick, please. Thank you. All right, I just need your rod if that's okay. Give me that blaze rod. No. I didn't get it. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. The, sp the spawner is right there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Help me. <laughs> we're fine. Oh, there's the guy over there too. Great. They're surrounding us. Maybe if I get this guy, it's a little safer. Let's go get this guy. He's alone. 
Make sure to protect ourselves as well. Cover this up. Cover this up. All right. Did he drop a rod? No, he did not. But even if he did, I'm not going down there. All right. Let's get these guys. They're just hanging out over here. Now, shoot your thing at me. I dare you. Oh, 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 where do you come from, stupid? All right. Please. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for coming down. Thank you. Oh, there it is. I got it. We got the rod. Let's go, baby. JJ to me. Now, we just need a little bit more. Just so we can be safe. We're going to need that blaze powder as well. I want to make a couple brewing stands. So, we're going to be here for just for a little bit. Let's see if we can take these guys out. Thank you. Doing great. Come on. Ah! You're stupid. What do you punch me for? All right, seven rods. I think that's pretty good for right now. So, you know what? Now we have to find some nether wart. Very, very important if you want to brew stuff. Make sure when we're down here, we cover everything up. We don't get into any trouble with any wither skeleton. Let's see if we find any good loot also. Oh, a chest. Hold on. Gotta be prepared in these situations. What you got? Eh, gold. A saddle. Very cool. And obsidian. There's gas outside. Cover these up. I see another chest. Let's go for it. Diamond horse armor. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, perfect. Let's keep looking for junk. Hello, magma. Oh, way better than one. Oh, there's a chest right there. This looks very dangerous. Um, cover this up. What do we got? More diamond horse armor. Very cool. And we'll take that gold. Do a little bit of trading along the way. Now, instead of going down there, let's go down this way. Please, please, please. Can we get... Yes, all right. We got the nether wart. Let's go. All right, this is a very dangerous spot, too. They could come up from the top, and they could come from this way. So I'm going to block this off. Let's take a quick peek. That's a long hallway. And they could come from up here. So I'm going to maybe take a quick... Okay, there's no way they come from here. They gotta be really short. Oh, but we got it. <laughs> Let's get all this stuff right here. I've got warts. And I think we're good to go. We made it throughout this whole process. And we haven't died. We haven't gotten really that hurt. Uh, we're doing great. Let's get out of here. We'll explore this more later. Ah! There. Sorry. Headphone warning. You're just, you're just hiding on the side. Okay. That's fine. Get out. Oh, almost hit you. We're good. I'm getting out of here. Uh, job well done. GG's to me. I'll be back later. Bye. Kill you later. Thank you so much for the hospitality. I will be returning home safe. Goodbye. <laughs> Did it. Oh, I'm so happy. We got so lucky here. Now to get home safely uh, and without any issues. Maybe we'll make a nice little tunnel to get here uh, hidden from bad guys. Oh, hi, friend. I got something for you. I told you I was going to bring you something back here. Take this. Yes, you're welcome. Now give me something really nice. I would love some soul speed, please. Try an obsidian. That's fine. Here, have the rest. Drink. No, I'm fine. I have a spider spawner back at home. I don't need this drink. Anything else? Oh, spectral arrows. Those look like fun. Um, leather. Yeah, I need books. Thank you so much. How do you know I need books? Oh, I don't want that one. That's fine. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for the trading. Let your friends know that I'm a good man, all right? Thank you. Oh, no. No, please. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need it. I don't need any of you. I don't... Okay, you know what? Get a little lower. Why don't you get a little lower and see what happens? Get a little lower and see what happens. Rip. I'm so good. We're gone. We made it. We lived. Oh, and it's nighttime. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Nether Portal. Oh, look at that. It's converting. Oh, I love it. We survived. <laughs> Let's go. And now it was time. With all the supplies we got from the Nether, I came down here and made a little tiny brewing station. I'm going to make something really pretty later on, but you know what? For right now, this is going to do the trick. And of course, I had a mess down here, so I had to clean it up, but I got all my supplies ready, and I made the greatest weakness potions that Minecraft has ever seen. So potent. I splashed this zombie villager right across the face. The glasses weren't harmed. I promise. I gave him an apple and now it's time he's gonna get cured so at this point I made a little temporary rail that goes all the way upstairs to the villager trading hall and on they went our mending villager prepared ready to go into a nice and safe area so no other zombies can ever hurt them again and now the painful part I had to do this eight more times this took about an hour and a half. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. This is one of the worst experiences in the history of all things that you can experience in Minecraft. Rerolling villagers and then converting them into zombies. Turning them back into humans with a cheaper trade in order to, for me to get great discounts and get all the books and all the stuff I need. But you know what? At the end of the day, hour and a half, it was worth it. Thank you zombie villagers and thank you Mojang.
And at the end, all the pain and suffering was for a purpose. Look at this. We even have a little librarian um, in training here. Yeah, they're pretty much just our receptionist. Hello. Um, they also sell fish. <laughs> but we got all the librarians here in place. Protection for mending is right here. We have efficiency for silk touch and fortune three. Hello, friends. I love you so much. I still have space for four more on this side. What are we missing? And don't say unbreaking. Because um, I had an issue and they're somewhere else right now. But besides the breaking, what are we missing? So unbreaking is in here. Uh, they escaped. There was an incident and uh, they made their way over here. And eventually I got them locked inside here. Oh God, I was like, where did they go? Hi, I'm breaking. Uh, they're lovely. I'm breaking for one emerald. So good. Hi, you're part miner now. You're never escaping. Enjoy. Also, the villager breeder has been turned off. We don't need any new guys for right now because down below, uh, we still have just a few left. And we can use these guys for whatever we have remaining. And you're the real MVP, friend. Yes, you are. Next episode, I'm going to come up with a really cool spot for another brewing stand, a brewing station, a brewing building. Because, um, yeah, this is uh, just temporary for now. Also, we got to figure out a way to get a good emerald supply because finding it in the mountain like this, while good, uh, it's not the, the best. What do you think is the best way to get emeralds? Pumpkin and melon farm training with farmers or iron farm training with toolsmiths? Those are the top two I'm thinking about. What do you guys think? Oh, and our nether portal sword. This came out so good. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. But for right now, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next episode from the Hardcore World. Goodbye.